G'day guys, welcome back. I've got some leftover paints that I want to just try something with. So, there's lots of little, little bits left. And I'm just going to throw them all together, see what I come up with. They've all been mixed three to one with Floetrol and Global Paints. So I've just got some blues and some greens. I think they've all got silicone in them. Just going to throw them in. Fill up a cup. Pour it out. And then I'm going to flip white over the top of the colours and see what happens. A little bit of that blue. What do we got in here? Some bright blue. Cells happening already. And some aqua. A little bit of this really dark green. Maybe a little bit more. How pretty is that cup? And a little bit of black, I think, just for some contrast. Tiny bit more blue. That's about all I can fit in there. Okay, now let's see if I can flip it over without making too much of a mess. It's very full. Look at those pretty cells. Bang. Okay. Give that a minute. In the meantime, I just made up some white, half a cup of white. Just going to pop that around the edge there. Hope it's enough. I do have a little bit of white over there from my pour this morning, so if I need some more, I can go and grab that. It's a good way to use up leftover paints, is just to try things out, experiment. Now I don't really want to cover too much, I'm just going to pull it back. Pretty, almost a shame to cover it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the white over the top, like that. The white's heavy, so it will want to sink to the bottom. Just stop that from going over the edge. I'll just give it a minute to do its thing. Let the white sink down, let the other colours with the oil come up to the surface. And we'll see what we can get. Sort of after a lacing, marbly sort of a look. Predominantly white, just a lighter colour to what I would normally do. I'll just start moving this paint around a bit. There's a lot of paint on here, so the top layer is moving really well, where the cells are. You need a lot of paint for it to move fluidly like this and not get stuck. If it gets stuck and you have to stretch your cells, you lose your composition. to overstretch it so I can always put some white on the corners. I'll just thin this little bit of white down a bit. So 
my leftover white from this morning. Just put some on the corners. Not even going to use a trowel. <laughs> just finger painting here, just to use up some paint. Okay, tilt back the other way. While the paint's still moving well, I'll just flip it over this corner and back again. Interesting look. A little bit of paint on that corner there just to get that bit covered. Okay. There's a lot of white over here, so I'll see if I can get some of that off without losing this lovely bit up here. It's probably enough. And then while the paint's moving well, over to the other corner, stretch it out. And back again. Okay. Well, that's a bit different, isn't it? bit of white just there and that's all the corners covered I'll give it a bit of a torch see what happens so it kind of looks a bit like stone I think just torch this see what else happens whether there's any silicone left in there which wants to come up to the surface or not. So I'm basically going over the white here to see if the white wants to sink any more and let the other colours come up through it with the silicone. very different. Uh, I'll show you the one that I just did before this one. It was a lot busier. It had a lot more white in it. That's that one. Oops. Sorry about the glare. But uh, I think this one is better. They kind of match. A matching set. So I don't know what you would call that. I think it's quite interesting. Lots of white. I tend to not have a lot of white background or negative space in my pores, so but I'll just try out something a little bit different and see what effect I got. So I quite quite like that one. It's organic looking. Okay, well I've still got some more paints that I need to use up, so um, I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.